Hey guys, um, so this is Jack, and I'll be doing a video on installing uh, Java Cloud. Um, Java Cloud recently went public beta instead of private beta. Before you had to get um, low imitation, and now you can just download it free. Um, it's a Linux-based OS, and it runs on netbooks. Runs on almost every netbook imaginable, even the ones that are not even available in the U.S. And uh, so I'm installing on my Acer Aspire One. Acer, and uh, here's the look of the inside. All right, so um, we'll just go. This video will just only go through um, installing it, creating a USB key, and um, you know going through setup. And I'll make a later video, follow up video that will review it, you know, with its downsides and upsides. So um, just go to downloads. If you're gonna use Express, that basically means you use it alongside Windows. It won't. It will leave your Windows um, data all untouched. You can always. You can. It's easily get rid of it. I'm going to be doing the Pro install which I will be using this as my only OS on a netbook. Um, so first what you want to do is download the ISO, which I have here. Um, it's the Jolly Cloud slash dash pre beta dot ISO. And what you want to also do is down, you can also download via BitTorrent. And then next what you want to download is the Jolly Cloud USB uh, creator. There's three versions, Linux, Windows, and Mac. They all work essentially the same. Um, when, yeah, so I'm going to be using the Mac version. I already downloaded it as well. And um, I'm gonna be doing a little. I'm gonna be use, uh, putting the ISO onto my flash drive, making it bootable. All right, so I'm gonna, all right now I have my USB drive. Um, what I want to do is launch the Jolly Cloud USB Creator 1.20 DMG. Click Run Me. Click OK. Type in my password, and it will give me the key creator. Now, which one, what I want to do is Browse to the um, to where my ISO is, and it automatically detects my um, target device, which is my USB flash drive. Click create. All right, so I'm here with my USB key, and um, it's got you know Java Cloud preloaded with using the USB key creator, and I got my netbook, my Acer, and what you want to do is put uh, plug in the power, and plug in the USB, which I've already done power and USB and I want to open my netbook and uh, I really quickly want to go to the BIOS I think it's F2 on mine so I'm in the BIOS um, it's really fast you have to catch it whatever key is on your netbook um, I'm not really sure but for mine it's F2 go over to main and go over to F12 boot menu that way you can choose which which device you want to boot off of so that's F12 boot menu enabled um, and uh, I'll just uh, exit out of that because I already made that change and hit F12 F12 oh no I went to Windows okay, so, alright so I'm gonna try it again because last time it didn't work but um, press turn on hold F12 and uh, boot off my Sandus Cruiser and goes to the Jolly Cloud really fast. And uh, what you just want to do is go to English. Oops. It already. Oops. I think there's a time limitation. Um, anyway, just uh, it'll initialize. And once once it's done initializing, it's done initializing and starting up. And. Uh, it should uh, and it gives you to the it gets you to the uh, live CD contents. What you really want to do is install, and uh, it will be loading the little installer. Okay, go to the installer. Uh, pick a language. Time zone. Go. Nope. Uh, shot LA. Forward. Um. So keyboard layout, it automatically detects its USA keyboard. So go forward with that. Um. It's pretty fast. It just gives you some basic Linux um styled. Uh, it's a Linux installer. So it's the same thing as you would see like on a Fedora or U Ubuntu installer. 
Um, now I will get to the nitty gritty stuff of disk space. So I have Windows XP Home Edition on um, on uh, my hard drive, and I want to use entire disk. Um, yeah, I want to use entire disk on uh, Sky C2 000 SDA 1 gigabyte 160 gig Hitachi, um, and I'll go forward with that. Okay, so now I think it will begin installing, and once it's done installing, I'll be right back. But I'm just gonna wait a bit to confirm. Oh, name. Um, so it gives you some basic stuff like what's your name, what you want to log in with, password, uh, you know, some other stuff. So go ahead and enter that in. Next, you're going to install, and I'm not. I'm just gonna skip that because it takes a while, and I'll come back when it's all all done. Before the OS is installed, and we can always comment on what we see from the live CD. Um, that's not being blocked by this uh, installer screen. Um, you can select applications based on uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight categories: favorites, accessories, graphics, internet, office, sound, video preferences, and illustration. There's all the applications are categorized by that. On the top, we see a. Um, I can clarify on that. We can see. Uh, I think that's the Java Cloud account. Your Wi-Fi or sound. Don't know what that box. Oh, that's CPU. I think. Upload, um, don't know what that little lock is, and time. And here you see some, you know, a Java call menu, and um, gosh, so blurry. Well, basically, what you see is the little um, home menu, which will get back to this thing, and each application will have its own icon and it will add on. Um, it's almost done, and uh, it's actually pretty nice OS, but it does lack in one, in one thing that you can't really see your file system. Um, I think you can browse your file system based upon this these, this part: home, desktop, um, network, uh, media, documents, music, pictures, and videos. But you can't really browse a file system like on a ma on on a regular computer, so that's a limitation. But other than that, it's a nice um, OS for a netbook. I actually would prefer using this over Ubuntu because Ubuntu is completely just crap. I don't like Ubuntu. And Fedora is just, well, it's, it's for advanced users and not for your netbook. So I'm going to come back once it's actually done. Just a little, you know, simple criticism of what I can tell from this, what I can see right now. Alright, um, so, don't know why it's so blurry again, but, okay, there you are. So, um, it's done installing. I'm going to quit out of it and, uh, reboot. I'm going to shut down and uh, it's pretty fast it's a nice logo actually before it was from this end to that end now it's this end it's just it's kind of cool looks. please remove the disk and close tray and press enter and you'll see the screen for a bit let's see what happens hopefully it works Okay, past the Acer slash. We're going to the command line, loading Charlie Cloud, and it works. Charlie Cloud is installed. Charlie Cloud pre beta release is installed on my Acer. Um, it's actually pretty fast starting up. Not, not, not too bad. It's only been about a few seconds, actually. And we're in. I think you have to type in your password and stuff like that. All right, so Jolly Cloud boot up fine, no problems there, and uh, I'm going to review the OS in a later follow-up video, um, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy New Year, and um, bye.